Hey guys, it's Casper here, and today we are continuing our quest to know all about the Poppet menu in Create Mode. So today is personal items, and we'll also throw in the Poppet cursor, uh, just since this is a short one. So let's head on over and check it out. Okay, here we are. This is our create mode level, and we're going to push the square button as normal to bring up our poppet menu. So today we're talking about the personal menu item. So we just push our X button, and up pops our personal menu. It's only got two pages. And basically what we've got here is two things. We've got our basic functions, which anytime you want to use any of these, we'll get into what each of these are uh, once we hit into more of the tools. Some of these we've talked about already. Um, but we'll get into those, And but you can find a little shortcut to some of your more basic capture objects and turn things into fire and uh, de-physicalize and that kind of thing is right here. And then we've also got anything you've used in this level. So I've got other levels I've created where I've used all kinds of things. And in this one, obviously, we've got only two things. We've got our entrance circle, and we've also got our paint splatter one, which is what I used on my actual face here. So if we zoom in, and there it is. Ta-da! So those are the only two things being used in this level so far. So anyway, but... You know, if you're using things over and over, this is a great place to get right to it without having to uh, build something else or to search through all of your stickers to find something that you've been using a lot. So the other page is all of our hearted items. So here we've got items that we've hearted in uh, other menus. So if we go back to our goodies bag, you know, here we've got our hearted menus and we've got our cardboard donut that we made in a different level. So it's got a little heart next to it down there. You'd get that by pushing the square button for more options. And there we go. We can unheart this. So now it's not hearted. You don't see a little white heart down there anymore. We go back to our personal items and it's not in here anywhere. So, but all these menu items that are hearted are right here and we can find them quickly if that's something that we use a lot so so that's basically it for personal items so i guess we can address our poppet cursor as well which is basically what we've been using this whole time to select things in the world so you just push the x button and then there it is so it just wherever you go it follows you around if you want to go and select something in your world. So let's bring up a couple things that we can drop in here. Let's get them from our personal items. We've got a, okay, a little huge of a hat there. We can set that guy down. And what else have we got in here? A barrel stein. Here we go. So we'll do a couple of those, a few of those. There you go. So you've got a couple objects down. So now if we want to select one of these, we just click the X button and we can pick it up. We can set it back down. The interesting thing about when you select something with your poppet cursor and you lift it up, until you back all the way out of your poppet menu, it will stay right where you put it. So if we want to make this so that it doesn't fall when we back out, we can change our physics properties, which we've talked about before a static object and then it stays. Now if we change this to a dynamic object it falls and then it's also something that it will move as we run into it. It will slide around back and forth as will these guys too although these are probably a little bit heavier. And if we want to select multiple items and we hit our poppet cursor again and we hold down the X button kind of in a, an upper corner of what we want to select and we just draw a dotted line box over all of them. So now we see they're all kind of turning green and they're fading in and out of color and what that means is that these are all selected items but anything that's not completely within this dotted line that is going to be deselected so 
And it looks like that back unit's deselected, and I'll show you why. We'll, we'll let go of the X button here, and we'll see if I'm right. Wait, I am right. Okay, and that's, and here's why. We can change the view of what we're selecting by pressing our options button. And if we go to all the way down here to this front view, push the X button, what that does is it takes the three dimensions off of what we're looking at. So now we're just looking at a very two-dimensional view. We might as well be drawn on a piece of paper. And then we take our poppet cursor and we draw our dotted line around. Then really anything that's within this dotted line is selected. And then we don't have that perspective which kind of changes what's actually selected. So you got to kind of watch out for that. If you really need to be precise, you can always change this setting. And then once you're done doing that, you can change it back and then everything's back to 3D. So. So anyway, that's our personal menu items and our poppet cursor menu items. So it was a short one, kind of easy, but if you didn't know about those things, kind of helpful. So hopefully that was helpful for you. And if so, just uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to my page for more videos as well. And we'll see you next time. Bye.